Theaters began to change with the arrival of the first talking film, The Jazz Singer, in 1927. Silent films had already been gradually replacing live vaudeville performances, and talking films further eroded the popularity of live shows. Nespers County Theater still hosted the occasional live show, such as the March 1934 Radio Sweethearts Show at the Liberty Theater, which featured the Gum Sisters, the youngest of whom would rise to fame under her stage name, Judy Garland. Community groups continued to perform plays, but the downtown theater scene was dominated by film from the 1920s until the early 1960s. Liston boasted three dedicated downtown movie theaters. Other theaters continued to show movies and produce live shows in the 1930s, such as the Masonic Temple, which showed Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the first full-length animated film in 1937. In the 1920s, the Theatorium and the Rex were owned by Will Starkey, in 1928, Starkey sold the theaters to W.B. Linbaugh and Edmund B. Rivers, who changed the theatorium's name to the Granada. In 1934, Linbaugh and Rivers closed the Granada, but continued to operate the Rex, which they renamed the Granada. New owners purchased the old Granada, and on Easter Sunday, 1934, opened it as the Roxy. The third theater was Bernard's Liberty. In 1928, the Liberty became the first theater in town be wired for sound. After Isaac Bernard died in January of 1932, his son Berka Bernard took over management of the Liberty until March of 1933, before turning over the business to his partner, Mary Pulver. By the 1940s, Mary Pulver managed and owned all three of Lewiston's movie theaters and managed the Temple Theater. After her death in 1950, control of the theaters passed to her son-in-law, Harry Wall. With the advent of television in the 1950s, theater attendance began to wane. The Granada was the first casualty and closed in the early 1960s. The Roxy closed in the mid-1980s. The Liberty remained open until 2005. The Liberty Theater Preservation Alliance is currently working to restore the Liberty Theater to provide a venue for performing arts, film, and culture, and to contribute to the economic and cultural revitalization of our community.